Man, you guys really go all out for the holidays around here. Yeah, yeah, I really do. Well, all the stops. Yeah, I love that. Last place I worked, hardly did anything for Christmas. Wouldn't have even known it was that time of year if it wasn't for my boss bringing her daughter around to sell us all shitty overpriced wrapping paper. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, you don't know a hostile work environment until a 12-year-old strong arms you out of 260 bucks for some holographic tissue paper and some sequined snowflake ribbon. Man, how did that happen? Gosh. That's what she needed to meet her quota for the marching band fundraiser. Apparently that's what I needed to finally get a raise after nine freaking years. Oh, <laughs> sounds like a nightmare. You're telling me, man, I'm just glad to be out of there. You really have no idea how chill you guys all are. Trust me, man, I get it. Our office report is next level. Yeah, it really is. I mean, it's like somehow you all just decided to be the one chill workplace on the entire planet. You know, it actually takes a lot of work to be this fellow. Really? Yeah, this whole uh, secret sad thing, for example, it's a yearly team building exercise. People really get into it. See, that's what I'm talking about. Commitment to the vibe. Oh, yeah, sure, whatever it takes to be simpatico, you know. But hey, uh, I'm going to warn you, you don't hold back in the gifts department, OK? Okay, I'm actually really glad you said that. I was starting to get a little worried. I might have gotten a little overboard with mine. Nah, not a chance. You wouldn't believe the shit that people bring into this thing. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that's a one way to spread it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Woo! Mr. Club. Let's get this show on the road. for the office. It's time for our favorite festive fiasco. <laughs> but before we get started, I'd like to take a minute to thank each and every one of you for really crushing it this year. Our sales numbers have been through the roof, and we've pumped up our Rolodex over 15% with a lot of new and happy customers. You all know that none of this would be possible if we weren't such a solid team, having each other's backs, keeping our eye on the prize, Keeping that bullshit to a minimum. <laughs> I also like to give a shout out to our newest team member who just joined us a few months ago. Welcome to the family, Kurt. It's great to have you on board. Ah, oh, thanks, Randall. Great to be here. <laughs> All right, well, let's do this damn thing. <laughs> Looks like the first one is for Henry. must have heard me talk about my swanky new barbecue outfit. <laughs> that would be me. I also heard you talk about how your dog's been going over to the neighbor's house a lot lately. What's up with that? A little weird, right? Well, I mean, we live with Jason to each other and, you know, go over there almost every week. Oh, okay. Are you sure it's not because you just remodeled the house and put in a pool? What? Or because your neighbor makes, like, a lot more money than you do? Or because his kids are on the honor roll and his wife's a stone flip box? Are you sure that your dog's not going over to your neighbor's house all the time because he just has like an objectively better yard and family and life and maybe your dog just straight up likes him better than you? No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, okay, just throwing ideas out there. Anyway, whatever the reason, Henry, and maybe now that you've got that schmanky new barbecue and you're really staying all the time, scratch up all and your dog's gonna love it and he's gonna settle. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Henry. Thank you, Susan. <laughs> uh, well, six months ago, her iguana got breast cancer. <laughs> I don't know, but Henry didn't think so. He didn't chip in for the Get Well Fund, didn't even bother signing the card. And ever since then, she's had a bone to pick with him, but <laughs> you know how it is here. You shut it down and focus on your work. And you save up your ammunition for a secret Santa. <laughs> hey, I did not know that's what we were doing here. All right, thank you for that, Susan. Now we're on to Kathy. Oh, this is for me. <laughs> oh, look, on marine biology? Yeah, uh, 
uh, marine biology has got really good illustrations, really cutting edge new uh, studies, really fascinating stuff. Uh, marine biology, right? That's what you got your degree in? Uh, master's, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Life is funny, isn't it? You got your master's degree in biology, and, and I graduated from high school with a 2.3 GPA, but here we are, <laughs> same office. Life's funny, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Dave. <laughs> Yeah, so Kathy got a 50 cent raise last year, and she's been walking around this office like a goddamn movie star. Somebody had to give her a reality check. <laughs> well, very thoughtful, Dave. Now, what's this? Oh, it looks like we got one for the new guy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Espresso machine? Yes, it is. Wow. Thanks, Henry. You got it, buddy. Now, when you uh, on your way to work, you can well, you can make your coffee at work instead of coming in uh, ten minutes late with your fancy little cappuccino. Okay. <laughs> no dip. Oh, uh, uh, there's something else in the bag. Pack of cigarettes. What is this? I don't even smoke. No, you don't. But it seems like you take a 15 every 20, so I thought I'd just make it a 15. Yes, I should say, Dave, while I pick up the slack for your work. There you go. You have a reason. <laughs> All right. Understood. Thank you, Henry. <laughs> That's all right, Kurt. There's always a learning curve. <laughs> Next one, we got one for Susan from George Truly. Oh, thank you, Randall. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Oh, it smells fabulous. Well, I thought it suited you. And that it was strong enough to cover the stench of gin and tonic to come seeping out of you every Monday morning after one of your classic three-day vendors. Good call. Now we're on to uh, Nathan. Ooh, what's this? Looks like got something smelly in here too. Oh, nice. A set of candle. It's lavender. They say it's good for stress relief. Okay, thanks. I mean, I know I've been, in your life's been going kind of tough. Yeah, well, we don't have to get into it. What, with everything that's going on in your marriage? Thank you, Kathy. And uh, your daughter dropping out of med school to move in with her boyfriend. The musician? Thank you, Kathy! <laughs> and, uh, oh, they have that baby on the way, right? Yes, they do. <laughs> Oh, sweet. Congratulations. Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> I'm sure they'll get back on their feet real soon. Thank you, Kathy. Oh, my gosh. She is just the worst. <laughs> you know what? Let's keep this moving along. All right, the next one here is for Dave from yours truly. There you go. Oh, uh, here we go, indeed. <laughs> uh, pillow. Yeah, a travel pillow. You know, since we all know that you're not sleeping in the same bed with your wife anymore. <laughs> hey, how's the Buick treating you? Oh, I'm so glad you asked me, Nathan. Real good, actually. Very roomy. Excellent lumbar support. Whoever would have thought that sleeping in my car would give me the best night's sleep of my life. Damn, dude, that was a low blow. Nah, dude, it's totally cool. It's cut out with getting down, Nick, and why? Hang on, I'll do it. You need to get down, you know, both of these letters. You need to get down, you know, both of these letters. Oh, no, no, no. Take it easy, guys. The whole point of doing this thing is to let out our frustrations in a healthy way. Got it? because Nathan can't satisfy a woman. <laughs> okay, that's it! Go to life, Nathan! Shut the hell up! Nathan, go take a look! Go to your boss! Go <laughs> walk it off! Damn! Sit your ass down! Oh, now, now we're all simmered. Let's open 
the west. Alright. Ooh, what's this? This one's for me. Alright, we're gonna open this last one. Can we all keep our heads on for the next two minutes? Y'all good with that? <laughs> Jeez, this thing gets so heated every year. <laughs> Alright, Randall, uh, this one's for me. Uh, obviously, I didn't really understand the assignment here. And frankly, I'm not really sure that I do still. Kurt, what is this? Ah. Uh, those are season tickets to the switch hitters. I know you're a baseball fan, and you know, you're, you're an amazing boss. Uh, I just, I want to do something special. It's not a big deal. I don't for the team. Two tickets. So yeah. Take whoever we want. Exactly, man. Take whoever you want. Uh, totally not implying that you have to take me. Two tickets. For like a father and son. Yeah, that would be amazing. You should totally take your son. My son hasn't spoken to me in eight years. Wait, what? What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I had no idea. Too far, man, too far. <laughs> what are you trying to say to me, Kurt? That I should have been there at Little League games instead of staying late here every night? <laughs> that I should have supported him when he told me that he wanted to go pro instead of telling him that it would never happen? Did you think of a backup plan? That I should have been more excited for him when he got that athletic scholarship instead of telling him it wouldn't be worth anything if he didn't get his grades up. Are you trying to tell me that I should have grieved with my son? The night he broke his shoulder at the bottom of the night. The night that his dreams died instead of telling him. Instead of telling him it was a blessing in disguise because, oh, now he can come work with his old man. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, Kurt! <laughs> 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 